So it's that time of the year again when North India, particularly Delhi and the national capital region, is choking on really bad air. Now, when the air gets polluted, you often turn to your phone's weather app or social media or news websites to check the air quality index. And sometimes you end up seeing two very different numbers. Social media posts might claim that the AQI is 1000, 2000, but the government's indices don't go past 500 at all. What's going on? That's what I'm going to explain in this video. So the short answer is, all those numbers are correct, but they use very different scales, different methods, and they're all released by different organizations. To start with, the first step for every organization is to measure the physical density of pollutants, like PM2.5, PM10. And that means how much of it is there in one cubic meter of air. But guess what? The same amount of two different pollutants may not be equally harmful. So there comes the next step. They convert it to an adjusted number called a sub-index, which differs for each pollutant. And that's where they all differ in how they want to calculate the sub-index. The final AQI is simply the worst sub-index at that time. Now, India's official national AQI has two big flaws. First, it's reported as a 24-hour average. So if the afternoon is clean and the evening is polluted, the AQI at night time might look better than what it really is. And second, and the most critical thing, the official government system caps the value at 500. No matter how bad the air gets, the official sub-index will never go above 500. In fact, it first caps the values at 500 and then gets the 24-hour average. So if the real uncapped number is say 1,500, the AQI will report it as 500. This severely downplays the actual danger on the worst days. The other indices, like the one used by your phone's weather app, use different uncapped scales. So they are not capping it at 500. And that's why those alarming numbers that you see on social media. Lastly, no index is perfect, but understanding the flaws in the official data is vital. Click the link in the description shared below to read the full explainer on Mint.